What you look in the night, when you see these stars, you are looking and staring at the positions of the stars when the light departed from it millions of years ago. The question is to you, Billy. Who taught Muhammad about this time? Okay. Is this coincident? Could be. Let's use another thing. Now we said, so since this star moved to another place, we know that this universe is expanding. Yeah. This information, as we'll mention in the Quran, Allah says, we have created the heaven and we are expanding it. So God said 1400 years ago that the sky above us, it is expanding. What we see, it's expanding. No one could appreciate, no one could know and would know that, that it is expanding until they discovered this. Who told Muhammad about this fact? Is it another coincidence? Okay. You see, there is more than that and we can do more. Now, for example, uh, uh, for example, God talks about the development of the fetus in the womb of the mother. And God has said that firstly it starts as similar to blood clot mm. and then it developed to similar to a leech. You know the leech? What the leech does? It's stuck to the skin and keep sucking blood in order and grow, yeah? So similar to that, the, the embryology, yeah? The embryo in the womb, stuck inside the womb, similar in shape to the leech, taking the blood from the mother and in order to develop. This leech developed into something, into like similar to a bite. This bite changed into like a, a bone, and this bone was covered with the flesh, and this flesh came into a new creation. Who taught Muhammad about this detailed fact? More, furthermore, no, and the Quran is full of this, full of this information. Now the question is to you, Billy. And I will give you this to tell you that this man, if he was a false prophet, he could take advantage of many, he could take advantage of many occasions, take advantage of the people to claim favor for himself, but he never did. And I will tell you one incident. During the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him, he had his youngest child, his youngest son. He had, peace be upon him, he had four daughters and he had three sons. All his sons died in his lifetime, or all basically, or uh, they died young. The last son, he was two years old, his name is Ibrahim. He named him after his forefather, Ibrahim. And he was two years old and he died. On the same day when his son died, on the same day, they had a sun eclipse. There's an eclipse happened on the same day, the very same day. It was a coincidence that happened on that day. Yeah, so the sun eclipse, yeah. So the people, they start saying, God is sad for the loss of Muhammad, for the loss of our prophet, because he lost his son, he loved his son, and he was tearing when he was burying his son. He said, verily, the eye would tear, the heart will feel sad, and we are, uh, uh, and, uh, and as well, the, the heart will feel sad, and we feel sad for we lost Abraham, Ibrahim. But we will not say except what God told us, we belong to Allah, and to him we shall return. So he was saying this on his grave when he was burying his son. Went home, the sun eclipsed. People start saying, "Oh, this is what happened. Uh, the sun eclipsed because of the of the death of our, of our the death of the son of the prophet." So they're saying this. At that time, no science, no one would know what happened. That it is the first time they were to witness sun eclipse. They never witnessed something like that before. And then they start saying, "This is what's happening. That's true. This the sun eclipse because of the death of the son of the prophet." So he came out to them, and he came out rushing to them to the extent he was wearing his garment, and his garment was dragging on the floor. And he said to the people, he said that the sun and the moon, those are from the signs of God. Yeah, God has created them from the signs of God. They will not have the eclipse for the living or the death of anyone, nothing, no one. But when you see, even your prophet, even the son of your prophet, there is nothing, there is nothing related to this. But if you see this, you rush to pray to God and ask God to help you, etc. That's all. So he was saying to the people, directing the people from attaching these kind of science or attaching these natural, for example, phenomena, you know, and not to attach it to persons or something, and they wanted to say this something, this for a moment because God has created them and God healed with them the way that he should. Now, if he was a false prophet, would he take advantage of this moment? 
So what that tells you, Billy, that he is... You said it, I didn't say it. Now, according to what you said, do you believe this now? Yeah. After what I told you? Yeah, I believe, yeah from what you told me, yeah. All the information I told you, they are written in the Quran, they are written in the authentic tradition of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and you could you could Google them, you could, you could find them. Now, according to what we said now, yeah, we said to you earlier, yeah, if I prove to you that Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be a prophet of God, you said, you're going to accept to be a Muslim, yeah? Yeah, that was the deal. Yeah. Now, and by the way, you are Muslim by believing in this. By believing in this, you are a Muslim. You just need to take that step by testifying. This is the way, the step, everything has a step. We don't have a pool or a river to dump yourself there. We don't have this. There is nothing of that. All what you need to do, all what you need to do, a single sentence, which is in English, to declare. There is none worthy of worship except Allah. And I said to you, Allah in Arabic means the one God. And to declare and to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. As simple as that. We're going to say it in English and we're going to say it in Arabic and to identify yourself as a Muslim from now. That's all. I can't do it today. I can't do it today. Why not, Billy? I can't. Why not? Because you need to believe it fully, 100%. And then you need, is it not two people who can testify your sincerity? Or no, we will, oh, we, we're here. We are here. But with me, with me saying that I, I can't, like, actually, from a logical point of view, yeah, what you're saying, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. It ticks all the right boxes, but I don't know. This is. It is actually by you saying this that shows you are a sincere person. By you saying this, that shows you are a sincere person, and that shows you agreed. Your mind agrees with this. Maybe. You are saying this in order you want to do the things in the right way. And that shows your sincerity. Yeah? So that's why, and I will tell you what makes you to be reluctant to take your shahada today, which is the shahada by the way, it's called. What makes you to reluctant? You remember when you were a young boy, when you make something, when you made a mistake, yeah? And your mother told you, you say sorry, and you were... <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah? You know you're wrong. Yeah. You know you should say sorry. Yeah. You know that's how it should be done and you don't want to do it, yeah? That, it is the same feeling as it is now, correct? I guess so, yeah. Do you know what influenced you back then and now? Well, um, I know. I know, we know. And God told us who, who he is. He is the devil, yeah? The devil, which, is, which works in us, in our vein, yeah? In our vein. He goes around, he will tell you, oh, hold on a second, don't do it. No, hold on a second. There are things. He will bring you all of these things. He's going to bring you now. Maybe while you are talking to me, in the back of your mind, to think about your parents, thinking about your relatives, yeah, your yeah. friends. Yeah. Think about, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's what, that's what comes to you. Will, yeah, all of these things. Oh, what's he going to say to you? What's your culture? What's you, this your friend going to say about you? All of these things that, that in, in, will overwhelm you with this information because of this. But the way that we deal with, we need to please only one who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. We don't care. We shouldn't be, you know, very, you know, uh, think or overthinking about everyone else. And God as well, our prophet, peace be upon him, he told us in authentic hadith. Since you said he's a true prophet of God, since you said this, he told us, uh, he told us a saying. He said, whomever, anyone on earth, any person pleases Allah, yeah? Try to please Allah, the one God. Even by gaining the anger of the people, Allah will be pleased with him and Allah will make the people to be pleased with him. He said the truth. And he said, and whomever pleases the people, pleases the people by gaining the anger of Allah, Allah will be angry at him and Allah will make the people to be angry at him as well. Yeah? So that's why it is a win-win thing, my brother Bill. So, so the only one that you should be considering and you should be focusing at this moment is to please the creator of the heaven and earth. No one else, nothing else that at this moment. And God is going to deal with everything else around you. And God will help you. We don't need, there is no one again, there is no ambiguity. Just, the, just say this and then you will feel good. And then you will tell me, 
it will be like a mountain was on your shoulder and you're going to be freed from it because now you're like a newborn baby you are like a new, now you know what's the purpose of your life you are created on this earth to submit your will to the will of the creator and we muslims we do this we 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 don't we don't pray all the time i mean because all that in us the the meaning of worship in islam is very broad so anything that we do good is an act of worship when you want when we are working we are worshiping god when we are studying we are worshiping god when we are good to our parents we are worshiping god when we are good to our neighbors we are worshiping god when we are good to the animals we are worshiping god so for us the act of worship is very broad everything good that we do it is an act of worship and we are rewarded for it do you understand billy so the question is back to you billy yeah just focus on the oneness of god just focus there is one god whom you have to be free and then everything else just focus in this on this point and then everything else it will be easy for you you understand billy okay i've got a question ask i could do the, i could do the what's it called again the shahada the shahada yes um and then what if I then don't read the Quran straight away? What if I don't? Yeah. What if I don't start learning about it, start practicing it so from from today? At I least, at least, at least, as long as you know who who you are, that you are a Muslim, and you lived on this, that at least you're gonna be saved in the hereafter. But I think that's my problem. Is that I can't say to myself I am if I haven't read. The yeah. Quran. That's the the point I is. I, I can't convince myself that I am. It's like. <laughs> See, we'll are like you Christians or something, and they'll say, you're yeah, a Christian, and then you'll ask yourself about the Bible. I don't know. No, Christian, we want to no, know it, and you're like, well, we you want to do Islam is a journey of learning. We are here for you as soon as you take your Shahada. We are here for you. We will not turn our back to you. We're going to be there for you to help you, to educate you. We're going to teach you how to pray. We're going to be there for you. Uncle, We're going to help you to explain the Quran for you. We're going to be there for you from this moment all the way until the death separate from either of us we're going to be there for you so that's why don't think in a negative way none no most the muslims will not be alone and including myself i myself inshallah i'm going to be your brother and i'm going to be there for you and i'm always available on whatsapp so if you need anything always if you have questions whatever we're going to be always there for you so we'll not leave you so the point is and we wanted you to learn and we wanted you at least to have even small thing in a daily basis just to learn something about the, about your faith every day and as i said it's a journey of learning so that's a good the beauty of islam it's not just only a blind religion a blind following religion it's a it's a journey of learning that's what we are saying you understand my brother billy? okay so now my brother billy yeah think in a positive way think in a good way and we wanted you to be our brother and to be a member of 1.8 billion brothers and sisters in Islam all of them that's all are your brothers and sisters in Islam and you are within a member of this family that's all what we want and we want for you the goodness we want the khair for you the good for you and we want you to be saved in the hereafter that's what we are here for yeah so let's say the shahada together me and you will do it together and then from now on I'm gonna be there to teach you, to educate you, to help you. Okay, I'll then. make a deal. I'll make a deal. Not yeah. today. Why I'll not come, today? I'll come back next Sunday. Are you coming here? Sunday I'm, I'm gonna be here next Sunday, but why not today? I need time for it to sink in. Let double make sure of myself. I and think I inside you, Billy, it's already there. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Okay, that. okay then. But I just need delaying. You know the Prophet peace be upon him. He said to take time to take it easy with the things. Is good in everything except in the matter yeah. of the hereafter. The matter of the hereafter, Allah says in the Quran, haste to forgiveness from your Lord and a paradise that He has prepared for you. So haste, Allah is saying to, us, to haste to Him, to rush to do the good thing. So that's why to say next week we don't guarantee our life. I wish I could guarantee my life and your life. Yeah. I wish we never know. But at least today you will go with the understanding that you know where you belong. And as well, you come back next week as a, because I want you within this week. I want you to read. We're going to give you information. I want you to read. I don't want it as if you want it as well to meet within the week if you have time. Let's meet up in the week. We want you to do that. We wanted this. We don't. We we want you, but in the so same time, and at least, <laughs> and at least, and at least, and at least you know where you belong from today. That's what we want from you. So make yeah? it productive week. A very productive. And at least your reading of the Quran is going to be 
at it from different angle. You are reading as a Muslim, mm. wanted to understand this page. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Okay, Billy? So don't worry. Let's do the Shahada together. Me and you. Yeah? Don't worry. It's not, by the way, it's not magic, but you will feel it. <laughs> just say, okay, Billy. Repeat after me. It's very simple and simple. Mm, Repeat after. I don't know. I don't know. You know. I, I can't go home and be like, yeah. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm telling you, you be like, oh, what are these no, like, what no, are you doing? Don't worry about this. These things, again, you didn't need to announce, but all what you want, what you want from you, at least you know what we want from you. We, you, we, you want to know where you belong. That's all. At least for you now. Do you know another reason why I can't do it today? Because I'm so new to just believing in God. It's, it's, Which is good. And God has. Do you think? There are, there are, we don't believe in coincidence. You didn't come here as a coincidence today. There are no coincidence. Mm. When you said you believe that, and I believe recently, you are asking God to show you the right path. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Do you need more sign more than this? No. That's it. So God is saying to you that. So that's why I will say to you, my brother, believe. Trust me, we want the best for you, and you want the best for yourself. And God wants the best for you. And I, as I told you, if there is some other true faith, where is it? That's the true faith which we are saying to you, and that's what we wanted you to follow. That's all. You understand, Billy? So don't, don't, don't have this overwhelming feeling, and just say the statement and have that beautiful feeling. But by the way, the deal, that's what the deal in the, in the beginning. <laughs> that was the deal. That was the deal in the beginning. That was the deal in the beginning. Yeah? So there is, again, don't feel. We don't want you to feel overwhelmed with it, but in the same time, we want you to feel the good thing that at least you know where you belong. That's all. At least, again, and you will have, when you go read the Quran, you read it with the lens that you are as a Muslim, wanted to learn his faith, wanted to understand his faith. Okay, Billy? Okay, Billy? Right, man. It's, uh, you know, it's very overwhelming. It's, it's all right, but it's a good overwhelming. It's a good thing. You'll and after, once you say it as well, you'll know the feeling. You'll, you'll, you'll see the feeling. You'll see the and feeling. The feeling. And then after that, we wanted you to describe to us how did you feel. That's yeah. all. <laughs> all right, Billy. No Billy, sure. Billy, trust me. We wanted the best for you. I don't know. I don't know. No, you know. Think, think inside you. What? Think inside you. You know. Yeah, yes. but equally, I just I don't know. No, no, not equally. It's the other the other thing, just neglect them. Just focus, there's one God, and God wants the guidance for you. Focus on this. Just focus on this point. There's one God seeing you, watching you now, hearing you, and seeing what is inside you, and wants the best for you. Do you understand? Let's focus on this, and then you will know. Focus on this, and hang on on this. Yeah, uh, I guess so, yeah. Good. Repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I, testify I testify that, that there, is there is none, none worthy, worthy of worship, of worship except, except Allah. Allah. And I testify, and I testify that, Muhammad that Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger of, Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. Allah. Let's say it in Arabic. Ashhadu Allah ilaha. Illa Allah wa ashhadu anna anna Muhammadan Rasulu 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 Allah Allah Allah, 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 I really we are all happy for you, our brother. <laughs> yeah, we are all happy for you. Feel now there's a pressure, yeah. just yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe he doesn't like this perfume. Yeah. Exactly. Mama, I even like, like it. <laughs> I even like it. By the way, our like brother it. Billy, 
So what we will be doing, we'll start teaching you, inshallah ta'ala, how to pray at this thing. At the same time, we urge you to start learning, yeah? Everything. So we'll give you a Quran. I think this is the Quran the brother uh, yeah, yeah, give you. Right one. You're, yeah, you're, you have a Quran yeah. and it has, you know, and it has all the translated one. So you could use it, read from it. And if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. And I'm here. We're going to take you. We're going to take yeah. your contact details. This is, this is all. This is what I'm using. Okay, well, brother. May I have you too? Yeah. Uh, Your bottle is also finished. <laughs> <laughs> this is my luckiest. See how beautiful it is. Look how many brothers, yeah, mashallah. Yeah. This brother. We came from different background, and all of us, Allah united us in this faith, the faith of Islam. And we call each other brothers and sisters. This is the beauty. Yeah, I'll get your number. This is my number. Mm -hmm. Let me ring myself so I could save it. Okay, that's your number. Is it the same number for WhatsApp? Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah. Your name is. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Uh, B I. B I. Double L Y. Your surname. Uh, Sorry about that. Okay. So, my name is Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah. Are you free on Wednesday? Wednesday evening? Uh, say again, sir. Are you free on Wednesday evening? Uh, Wednesday evening? Yeah. Um, like around 6.30, 7 o'clock? Are you available? I might be. I might be. If you are available, I am. I, I will. I do. I, I run a course, Salah course, the prayer course. Do you know Regent's Park Mosque? Regent's Park Mosque. You know, near Baker Street, Central London Mosque, called Central yeah. London Mosque. Where do you live? Do you live in London? Uh, yeah, North London, yeah. Okay. That's just Google Central London Mosque, and then it's near Baker Street, by okay. the way. Every Wednesday from around 6 30, 7 o'clock, we do, uh, uh, we, we teach the brothers and sisters, we teach them. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, and if you need anything, you have my number. If there is anything within our capacity to help you with, we are there for you. You are our brother, we are happy for you as much as you are happy for yourself. And today is the best day for you. Do you know why? Because today, all your previous sins is expiated, is why clean. You have you are like a newborn baby. This is the beautiful. So, and now, basically, in Islam, you start high. Now, because all of us, we are sinners, you are now the best Muslim on earth. <laughs> no sins, clear. And us, we are the sinners. So, please ask God for forgive those sinners <laughs> like our sinners. So, but you need to maintain that. Yeah. That's what. That's yeah. the beautiful. Yeah. Yes, brother. All right, brother. Do you have any questions that you wanted to ask at this moment? Um, no, you can ask them. All right. So, if you have anything that you will be in touch with you, let let uh, you know. You have my number. Just text me if you need anything. And then from now on, if you need anything, just let me know. Hopefully, on Wednesday we will. Hopefully, we see you at uh, at Central and the mosque. We'll try to you know to teach at least the prayer. Yeah. Do you, do you know about the mosque in? It's in Palmer's Green. Have you ever heard of it? What is, what's the mosque in Palmer's Green? Do you know the mosque in Palmer's Green? Yeah, yeah. What's this one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't know, but if you... That one's near to me. Okay, if you go there, no problem. But because I do run the session, the, the prayer, come come this Wednesday around 6.30, 7 o'clock, and then we'll teach you. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, come, uh, come this Wednesday, and then I will teach you how to pray, just in the basics, how to do it, yeah? yeah? I will send you something for you just to learn, and then hopefully, well, if you need anything, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, if you have any question or something, just let me know. All right, Billy? Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. We thank you, brother. May Allah bless you, my brother. Yeah, yeah, look up. Yeah, 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 that's a...
In the speaker's corner, the, the brothers, they have more privilege than the sisters. They don't, we don't, we don't have, <laughs> yes, sister, how are you? Yes, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You okay? Yes. All right. All right, brother. Uh, give this to the cameraman. Yes.